When you think about Carlsbad, New Mexico, chances are your mind immediately leaps to its namesake caverns at Carlsbad Caverns National Park. But if you're planning a trip to this iconic southwestern town, you might be wondering about some of the other attractions and activities. We've got you covered. Stick around as Fucation presents the best things to do in Carlsbad, New Mexico. Carlsbad Caverns National Park We'll go ahead and tackle the most popular attraction first. We're willing to bet a fair amount of you clicked on this video to learn about this one world-famous destination. That being said, stick around to see what else makes Carlsbad a unique vacay locale. The caverns are obviously a must-see attraction for any adventurous traveler. They're essentially a subterranean art gallery jam-packed full of breathtaking sculptures crafted by the hand of Mother Nature herself over the course of roughly 4 million years. The First Nation inhabitants of this region, the Mescalero Apache, knew about these caverns for hundreds, if not thousands of years. But they were quote-unquote discovered by a local cowboy who thought he saw black smoke rising in the desert in 1901. When he went to investigate, he realized what he had seen wasn't smoke, but actually a thick black cloud of bats. Ever since then, the Carlsbad Caverns have been a staple for tourists. Every year, about a half a million visitors come to see them in person. Sure, they look pretty impressive in photos and videos, but that doesn't hold a candle to what it's like to experience them with your own two eyes. Fortunately, the National Park isn't your usually heavily congested tourist destination. There are more than a hundred equally impressive of caves to explore, comprising an underground wonderland that spans more than three miles. Caves may sound a bit claustrophobic or even treacherous to some, but the Carlsbad Cavern system is very accessible, unbelievably vast, and features caves suitable for spelunkers of all skill and experience level. The caves are especially popular not only with human tourists, but also with the population of more than one million bats that call them their home. The bats love to sleep in the cool, shady caves during the day, but come nightfall, it's a a sight to behold as they suddenly leave the caverns in droves and disappear into the black of night. If you want to witness this impressive natural display, you can easily get tickets to the Bat Flight Show. There's even a sizable amphitheater that's been built to accommodate up to 200 guests. Aside from the somewhat steep natural entrance trail, the caves are fairly accessible and family-friendly. If you're seeking a bit more of a challenge, consider a guided tour. Tours are tiered into various difficulty levels, with the tours designated as lower ones being the more challenging. But you should have no problem finding one that fits your experience level and taste. A word to the wise though, some of them can be legitimately claustrophobic, so make sure you know what you're getting yourself into before booking. Sitting Bull Falls Due south of Carlsbad, just about an hour drive from downtown, you'll find the Sitting Bull Falls. This sparkling oasis almost looks out of place in the dry desert. The walk to the falls is fairly easy. There's a paved trail that leads directly to the base of the impressive 150-foot falls that gush along the Golden Sandstone Canyon walls. When visiting the falls, it's easy to forget you're in the middle of the sizzling sandy desert. But if you've spent the day already working up a sweat, hiking on any of the surrounding trails, a visit visit to Sitting Bull Falls is exactly what you need to cool off. Everybody is permitted to go for a swim, so bring your bathing suit and a towel. On the walk in, you'll see many natural wonders to pause and take in. The path is perfect for photography, plant and animal identification, and bird watching. So if you've got them, bring your camera or binoculars. The majority of visitors make the hike to the top of the falls to appreciate the dramatic view. There are also several lovely pools at the top to help cool you down. No one is quite certain why it was named Sitting Bull Falls, as it has no relation to the celebrated Native American leader. We do know, however, that the original Apache name for the falls translates roughly as Hidden Gulch. Living Desert Zoo and Garden State Park for folks that aren't acclimated to desert living, the Living Desert Zoo is a fabulous place to get acquainted with the flora and fauna of the Chihuahuan region. It's fascinating to get an up-close look at the various species of plant life found in the region. One of the trails featured here gives visitors a glimpse at fauna such as yucca, cacti, and desert flowers. Visitors can see creatures like mountain lions, antelope, and bison doing their thing in their natural habitat. Fortunately, some of the smaller predator animals of the desert, such as snakes and lizards, are displayed in smaller enclosures. Additionally, the zoo showcases several other species of animals that aren't native to this region, such as camels, giraffes, zebras, and others. There are numerous hiking tours you can choose from, as well as a full-fledged safari experience. For the children, there's a hands-on discovery center. Other attractions include a conservation center and a wildlife hospital. 
Carlsbad Museum and Art Center. Conveniently located in central Carlsbad, this museum is open seven days a week with zero entrance fees. There are several permanent exhibits as well as a variety of rotating exhibitions that educate visitors about the regional history of Carlsbad. In the Art Center wing of the facility, visitors can take deep dives into the creative realm of the desert world. You can also see genuine American Indian artifacts and artwork, as well as a nice medley of modern and contemporary American Southwestern art. One of the most famous pieces on display is the Taos 10 painting, which came from a Taos, New Mexico artist colony. Lake Carlsbad Beach Park Regardless of whether you're hoping to go for a nice relaxing swim or simply trying to have a picnic with your family, this beach park is an excellent place to go to cover all your outdoor needs. The park is located along the banks of the Pecos River and is covered with a sprawling tapestry of walking trails, beaches, and fishing spots. You can even participate in water sports like water skiing, ski doing, and paddle boating if that's your thing. The park is located on about 120 acres of land and there are plenty of shady areas to choose from that feature amenities like grills and picnic tables. It's most popular with locals as a swimming spot, but even if that's not your cup of tea, you should have no problem finding something right up your alley. The Artist Gallery Don't forget to swing by the Artist Gallery to pick up a piece of local artwork to take back home. This broad, spacious, and well-lit area has exhibits dedicated to local jewelry, pottery, painting, and mixed-media works. If you choose to purchase anything that catches your eye, you'll be supporting local artists in a way that ensures they'll be able to continue their craft. But even if you visit just to browse, you'll be sure to at least find something that tickles your fancy and enriches your appreciation for the arts. Pecos River Antiques Mall Calling all vintage and antique enthusiasts! If you're interested in finding a hidden gem in a cave full of treasures, this is the place for you. Not everyone will jive with this place, but for those who love flea markets and vendor malls, it's one of the best places in Carlsbad to go to hunt for rare, discontinued, handmade, and antique goods of all kinds. Just be advised, the market is enormous, so be prepared to spend at least a few hours rifling through all the stalls if you're serious about taking home a one-of-a-kind souvenir. Carlsbad Community Theater This theater has long been a hub for local thespians and theater appreciators. It regularly hosts shows and matinees, but the schedule constantly changes, so consult their online schedule before your visit. If you're trying to get a break from the harsh desert heat or simply in search of a little evening entertainment, there's no better place to see some quality, live, local entertainment. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Carlsbad, New Mexico? If so, did we miss any of your favorite things? And if not, do you think you'll get there soon? Let us know in the comments section below.